again. So I hope you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I really do appreciate it and I always try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Today I thought we would maybe do some more color scenes. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a brook in there, a meadow, maybe a snow-capped mountain in the back, some more colors, blues, oranges, trees, maybe a light source, who knows. This is a pre-stretch canvas, 16 by 20. I went to your local hardware and picked up some spray paint and sprayed it all the different colors and hues. Then after I let that dry, I covered it with a thin coat of liquid clear. That's going to help the oils go on a lot smoother over this paint that's already on there. And you'll notice that if you missed a spot, the oils will drag a little bit more. So you want to make sure you cover the whole thing with a thin coat of liquid clear. And any colors and all the information you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen somewhere in here. So like I said, we loaded it already with a thin coat of liquid clear. We're going to come into a little fan brush, just like that. Got some liquid, liquid white here. Load it right up on that fan brush. Maybe come in and determine where we want our light source to be. Maybe it's in here. More. Just like that. set this down, come into our blender brush, our soft blender brush, I'm going to come in here, circular motions, I want to have a light source back here. some more white. Just like that. Come into the blender brush again. Circular motion. Maybe we got some, oh, who knows, maybe we got some purples going. So we're going to get some blue, mix some blue up with some lizard and crimson, get a purple, get a purple color going right there. mix those two together. Almost what's on the palette right now. We just want that to come out a little bit more. Clean that fan brush off. I use odorless paint thinner, so that's a good thing. We'll come into some more white here. Just like that. back into the blender brush. Circular motion, go right up into that purple. Some more liquid white. Just 
loaded up across there. Blender brush again. Circular motions. Can I almost get the illusion of clouds? In the distance. Step back. Looks good to me. Knock the excess off. Now, come into the palette knife. Let's mix some blue colors, I believe. Almost like the purple. Halo blue and alizarin crimson. We'll get a mountain color going. Just like that. A little roll of paint right on the edge there. And we'll come in and we'll determine what we want our mountain to be. Add some more paint. More purple. It could just be a distant, maybe. Distant mountain. Who knows? Maybe it'll go just like that. Scrape off the excess. brush we use for the liquid clear. I'm going to pull this mountain down. Just into the sunset. Want it to get misty all the way down. Who knows, maybe there can be little hilly things back here. Goes all the way. Just like that. Got that light color. Wipe that off some. Come into that blender brush. I want to tap this. Get that mist going. Another little roll of paint. Just 
some thing and a distance. Use the other side. It's a little small little end there on the palette knife. You can get these small spots here. Maybe this one comes right down. Step back. A little bit of that mountain color into some white and we'll get a shadowy color. Shadow color. Leave it marble. Get a little roll of paint. And come in here. Highlight some of this. All the way down. All the way down. into that blender brush. We'll just tap the snow down here. Pay attention to the lay of the mountain because you want that angle to be just like the way it is. up some more of this purple color that we had on the crimson. I want the same color as the mountain. More blue. making some brushes and bushes and all kinds of things. I take this two inch brush, some liquid clear we got on here already. That helps thin it out. Come into that color. Dark color. Pull it in one direction. And we'll come in here and start making some things where maybe there's trees and Push it up, 
and get your different things happening. Different bushes and off in the distance. Maybe there's something that comes up here. Another tree. doing is tapping it. Just barely pushing down. Maybe this goes up here. dark back and through there. I'm going to set this down for a minute. Grabbing some more color, more dark color. Maybe it comes up here. Kind of hard to work with that. because a light color is going to go on underneath it. And you'll have a nice base there, nice shadow colors. That's kind of what you're looking for. come into a little brush, a little tiny brush here, come into that same colors, liquid clear, help thins it out, you want it like a ink, ink consistency, and come back into these colors here, and you want to put some branches in and stuff, and things coming out. happening in there. It really helps it really helps make it Really brings it all together. You get all that. All the little twigs.
that going on. Come back in to this two inch brush here. Wipe some paint off. So I'm going to come in here and pat some of this. that brush off because we're going to use that for all the colors for all the highlighted colors
lighten that up. Get some more liquid white. Just tapping that in. Get that light color. color. Turn that brush off again. Come into some yellow. Yellow and that pink, those are crimson. get you orange color. Maybe. Maybe right in here. Get some white in there. some colors back there. Clean this brush off. Okay. 
taxi access. Now we can come into some blues, some greens. I think we'll come into some greens, greens and liquid clear. Green, sap green, and some white. Let's pull it in one direction. We'll get some color happening up here. Right up here. up like we did with the when we made the trees Get some colors in there some blues in there too. We'll get some blues. Get some white now. Make that lighter green. And pop this up here. there. again with all this green all this green that's got on it we want to come into some light blue blue color again and some white blue 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 and some white liquid white
bit off. Pression brew. Just a little bit though. That's going to blow it up some. The blue that we're looking for. Only one direction. And we'll come in and we'll make some blue areas. Need more white. Put some down there after we get them. After we get the other stuff happening. I'm going to leave that brush just like it is. I'm going to come in to use some fan brush with some pink on it. I'm going to tap in some Make it. Make it a little bit more. More colorful. some of this blue and run it right up in here, I think. Run some of the blue up in here. this up with some brown and black dark colors. Brown, black, sap green. land in here. Get this going a little bit quicker. I have to hang on to the back of this. I 
the colors you put right over that, it's going to make it pop. Good and make it highlight it. Then you can also do the lay of the land. Probably make maybe a little lake here or something. Who knows? Who knows? You can do that. You can make that a little lake going right across here. bring this out here. Just like that. That goes over there. Let's come in to palette knife. Let's get some brown going. Shades. Get a little roll of paint right up. And we'll come in here. Start making some land here. to go for more color, more colorful. Clean that off. Come into the fan brush. And we'll pull this. Tap it. And pull it down. Get more of a sandy more of a ledge there.
doing is pulling it. Just like that. into the palette knife and we'll grab some white a highlight some of this area here I barely tapping it all that white away if you want. Okay, now I'm going to come into some yellow. Yellow. Got a highlight. Yellow ochre. Going to highlight some of this area. Get some color going. Clean up that one brush we were using for the landscaping, the grassy area. Clean that off. Come into some white. brush soft blender brush we'll just start tapping this in 
They go right down to the water. Right down into the water's edge. All I'm doing is barely touching this. Because it'll take it away. I'll take it right off. fan brush. Go into those same colors. The white, yellow. Brighten it up. We'll just tap it in there. We're going to tap it right in here. Going to tap it right down to the edge. brighter back there and you just barely tap touch it. That goes all underneath right back. down in this crevice here. into the blender brush.
leave those layers in there. Makes it look like there's some land there, different levels and different things happening. Just keep lightening it up and get it as light as you want it. And I think that's what we're going to work on today is getting it light. I want it to really pop, really be bright there. So we'll just keep adding, adding weight. Brighten it up. Load it up. Load it right up. Fill it in there. Clean off that blender brush. Come in and tap some more. Get that nice bright, that nice bright look. Because I really want it to go with all the color back there. Tapping this too, it gives you the, the look of little grass areas too. Little grassy areas that are protruding. Lighter, lighter. Lighter, lighter. into the blender, clean it off, get off all that green that's on there, come in here and just tap that. Wipe 
cutting it off because you want just that nice bright Step back. More white. More white. More brighter colors. I want it to be bright. I like that getting duller back there. Maybe it won't be as bright. But this will be bright. Just like that. Back to the blender brush. Brighter right in there. Okay, step back. some color going on in there. We'll bring some of those colors down. Down into the water down here. Some of that dark purple too. Or our lizard and crimson. it up. We'll mix it up. Get all the colors happening in there. We'll use this other fan brush here to get some of those other colors. Some of this color in here.
clean that brush off. Coming in to the pink, pink color for this bush over here. brush and blend it in. Got to get some more brown going. A little roll of paint. Got to come in here. right here. I'm going to start pulling some of this down. Or tap it. Tap it all along there. Wipe it off. Start pulling down. Here and there. Get that darker color right by the water's edge, the way you'd see it. as you go here and there.
the edge though. But you know what? I think I like that, just like that. You want that real dark. I'll tell you what we're going to do. that area off and blends that in more. Makes the tree look fuller. Now we'll come into some whites. Whites. And we'll highlight colors up there. Maybe put a couple trees in here maybe. Let's put some trees in there. Use this brush right here. We'll come into some brown. Another one right there. Okay, 
Okay, I'll take a little brush here. Come into some liquid clear. Do some branches. Some branches and twigs and a little thing. Here, load it up with some white and highlight these trees here. tapping and pulling at the same time. All the way up. Grab some more. We'll use the fan brush. Load it right up. And just take the corner of it. side. Step back and I can start putting some orange and 
spread little flowery things. Here and there. some white on there. Lighten it up. to some yellow. Yellow color. like all over the place. Fill it in. Get all kinds of colors in there. I like this orange. I like that orange. Get some red in there going. What's happening in there? Then we can put some underneath this. Maybe where it's starting to change.
plus in different colors. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to take this two inch brush, go into some grains, I think. Greens and browns. in some bushes right over here. I think we'll just set these in all the way down. All the way down. Just tapping it. dark colors. yellows. Some yellow. Brighter yellow. Highlight that. Liquid clear. Some white. And we'll put some color in there. We'll get some red going. Pull it in one direction. Like a pink. Pink color. Get more white. Lighten that up. Fill that in here and there. 
with some grassy greeny stuff. Take the palette knife and we'll scrape in some twigs and Here and there. Okay, looks like we got a completed painting here. Let's go ahead and take this little brush here, sign it down here in the corner. Liquid clear and some purple colors is good. I always like signing mine with my last name. Some people like to use their initials. And I also like putting the year. The year that you painted it. It's always good. Let you know your progression. And One other thing that I always like to do. It kind of tops it off and kind of makes it kind of finishes it. I like to put a an eagle flying or some type of a bird off in the distance like right over them right over this hill here. finishes it off. I hope you enjoyed this one. I tried to put more colors in, have some more colors in the water. I hope you're painting along with me and I hope to see you again. Bye.